Asia is home to one of the highest opium producing centers in the world called the Golden Crescent. This region contributes to the high prevalence of the drug trafficking and misuse in Asia. Drugs grown in Afghanistan are trafficked through Iran and Pakistan to the rest of the world. Even India is not safe. India's borders next to the drug trafficking centers led to the rising menace of drug abuse. This is just some of 250 million US dollars worth of contraband being destroyed this year alone in Pakistan. Tons of smuggled goods and narcotics were burned in Karachi, going up in smoke. These goods include liquor, betel nut, hazardous uh, chemicals, hazardous uh, health products, as well as cosmetics and pesticides. Certain items which are fake products are also being destroyed today because it is a duty of the Pakistan Customs to protect society as well as ensure that people and humans do not suffer from these products by consuming them. Pakistan seizes huge quantities of drugs en route from neighboring Afghanistan every year. 92% of the global opiates come from Afghanistan, making it the world leader in the production and trafficking of opiates. All these drugs are head for lucrative markets in the Middle East. The Middle East and North Africa are a major source, transit point and consumers of illicit drugs. This region comprising of Afghanistan, Iran and Pakistan is known as the Golden Crescent, also referred to as the silk root of drugs. As for India, proximity to Pakistan has made the country's border, especially Punjab, vulnerable to drug trafficking. India finds itself in an uncomfortable position. It's right in the middle of two major illicit opium production regions in the world, the Golden Crescent in the West and the Southeast Asian illegal trade hub in the East. The global drug trade accounts for almost 1% of the world's financial revenue. And despite drastic punishments for drug dealing, including death in many countries, the worldwide illegal drug trade continues to flourish. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.